Пока. Hey guys, today I have this really fun and bright happy summer makeup and hair tutorial for you. So first up I'm going to do my makeup and then later on in the video I will do my hair. So let's get started. I am going in with my Makeup Forever High Definition Primer and just priming my face and then going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is my first time trying it out and I actually really, really like it. So I'm just taking it on my fingers, spreading it throughout my face, spreading it throughout, <laughs> spreading it on my face and then I am going in with my Damp Beauty Blender and blending it all out. I'm going to go in with a second layer just for a little bit extra, well, a lot extra more coverage because I like my coverage full. After that, I am going on with my concealer using the L'Oreal True Match and I'm doing these fancy dot patterns just because I wanted to see like how cool it looked when editing. And then I'm going to blend them out with my Beauty Blender, just highlighting underneath my eyes, my forehead, nose and chin. I am just going to quickly use some Bobbi Brown corrector on my dark circles underneath my eyes uh, just before I set it, which I'm going to set it with my Shade and Light palette. Just using the banana shade and then the brighter shade and taking it on a brush and just setting my under eye area and also everywhere else I concealed. Then just to cover up my pimpy real quick, I'm using this Stila Stay All Day Concealer and then setting the rest of my face with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in medium tan, as usual. <laughs> Time for brows, I'm using my Sigma Brow Powder in medium and I'm taking the lightest color and filling in the front part of my brows and then I'll take the darker color and fill in the rest of my brows. I'm just going to brush it all through with a spoolie and then I will set it all in place with a brow gel. This one's by Model Co and it's like a little texturizing kind of brow gel that like adds a bit of color as well. Now moving on to eyes, I'm going to start with my Soft Ochre MAC Paint Pot and take that all over the lid and up to the brow just to give a flawless base for my really bright colorful eyeshadow. Going in with Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek first as my transitional kind of crease color. I'm not going to do like too much because this look has a whole lot going on. And then over the top I'm taking Creme Brulee as another crease color. And all I'm doing with both of these colors is taking them on a really nice big fluffy crease blending brush and in circular motions going back and forth in the crease. Now for the fun part, I'm taking this Makeup Geek Duochrome Pigment in Wildfire. Oh my gosh! It is so beautiful. It's like a pink base with gold reflex, I think, and it's just stunning. It just screams summer. I love it. So I'm just going to take that on a synthetic brush and pack it all on the lid, just in really light motions, just spreading it throughout the lid. Um, obviously, it kind of goes everywhere because it's a pigment. So just be careful when you are applying it, and then you can just brush it off with a brush. Just go really light and fluff it away. Now for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm using another Makeup Geek shadow in Shimmer Shimmer. This is my favorite highlighter at the moment for my inner corner and brow bone. I just love, it just glows and gives that nice beautiful champagne color. And then I am going to take this Kajal Pencil by Essence. It's a white one. I'm going to color in my lash line, my lower lash line, and my waterline. And this will just make the color that I'm going to put on it, which is this Makeup Geek Shadow in Wisteria. It's just going to make it just pop. Without the white, it won't be as vibrant. So having the white eyeliner gives it something to stick to and then also makes it more bold. I'm taking a black liner on my top, um, what is this called? Tight line. And I'm just going to run it through there. I know a lot of you get creeped out by me doing this, but I have to show you guys me doing it. <laughs> now I'm going to create a wing with the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Winged Liner. And um, yeah, there, I'm just creating a wing. No big deal. <laughs> 
Next in, I'm going in with the Telescopic Extra Black Mascara and just coating my lashes and then I will go in with another mascara just to volumize it. I'm using this Bourjois Clubbing Volume Mascara, I think it is. I actually really like this mascara. It's great for adding volume, like extra, extra volume. Now moving on to my face, I'm going to contour with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm taking these two colors down my cheeks, uh, along my forehead, my jawline, and I will also contour my nose as per usual. Seeing as I used Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I'm going to use Makeup Geek blush and I'm using this really beautiful peach colored one. This is the first time using it and it just is so beautiful. When I first got it, I was like, I have to use this for a spring summer tutorial, it's so pretty. I'm just going to mist myself a little bit before I go in with my highlighter which is Champagne Pop. Spraying a little bit of like setting spray will help the highlighter stick and be more vibrant. So I'm taking that on tops of my cheekbones, above my eyebrows, my nose, cupid's bow, everywhere where you know and then I'm just going to add some lashes for some extra volume and length. I like adding lashes, um, especially when I'm filming as well. It just makes the look a bit more dramatic. It also, I find that I need lashes whenever I wear wings liner. Does anyone else feel that way too? And now I'm going in with a bright coral lip. This just brings this look all together, I feel. Like, it may be a bit over the top for some people, but I just thought it was like, wow, like this is definitely a bright summer look and I love it. Now I'm gonna move on to hair. So I'm starting off with my natural hair. This is how straight it is naturally. And I'm going to be using the Numi Lustrum set for the first time. So Numi and I have teamed up to bring you this video today. And I'm going to take the 25 millimeter barrel out of the five that you have to choose from. It is super easy to pop on. You just put it in and twist the lock on. And then I'm going to pop on my adapter because I have an Australian plug. And then I'm gonna also use a glove because I ain't taking any risks. First up, I'm spraying some heat protectant on my hair and then just brushing it all in. Then what I'm going to do is part my hair and just divide it into a section. Um, so just so I can curl the bottom half easier. And then I'm just going to take sections and this one I'm curling away from my face. And the next one I'm going to curl towards my face. So I'm just alternating between each hair piece that I'm curling. Keep in mind I am curling the ones that are closest to my face away from my face. So I'm just going to section that up and keep curling. And because Numi are just amazing, they have given me a discount code for you guys. It is Love Capella Glam and the offer is for any set for $99 plus free US and Australia shipping. I'll leave a link down below for that one and they also have another deal, any curling one for $49 plus free Australia shipping if you use the code Love Crystal, which is also on the screen and linked down below. So as I said before, the Lustrum set does come with five different barrels and you can create so many different hairstyles with those five different barrels. Let me just tell you that now. Because the barrels are made out of Tourmaline infused ceramic, they actually help to counteract frizz and create nice glossy curls. And am I right in saying who doesn't want nice shiny hair? <laughs> so once my hair is fully curled, I am going to spray it with some hairspray and then I'm just gonna mess it up with my fingers and then I'm going to start teasing it to give it some extra, extra volume because the curls weren't enough. <laughs> so I'm just taking sections and then hairspraying them and then teasing them with a fine tooth comb and then once that's all done I will just smooth it all over with the comb and my fingers until I'm happy with how it looks. So the final hair product is just really voluminous, messy waves. I love how it turned out and it's actually stayed curled for three days now. I can't believe how well the girls have stayed in. So that is the end of my fresh summer makeup tutorial and hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this bright look from me. And if you are in summer right now, embrace it because it is freezing in Australia. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Thumbs up this video if you want to see more bright, fun, colored looks. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.
filmed this makeup and hair tutorial today but I didn't use a waterproof mascara and it's going down here I'm doing a first impressions on the ultra HD um, makeup forever foundation and I just filmed a PR haul and there is so much mess around